Hey guys, what's up? So I've got my Ryzen 9950X and after spending the past days tooling, testing stability and experimenting with the new PBO curve shaper, I came across the recent news regarding unexpectedly poor performance on the latest 9000 Ryzen CPUs due to poor Windows optimization. However, a few days later, AMD has announced that the new cumulative update KB5041587 includes the same CPU fix that's present in the Windows 11 24H2 Insider version. So in theory, this update on the current Windows 11 stable version 23H2 should also improve the performance on those new CPUs. So in this video, I'm going to test it out in 5 games at different resolutions to see what kind of results we can get out of it. It's worth noting that I've made sure to install also the latest AMD chipset driver that supports the 9000 series, as well as the latest stable BIOS version for my MSI motherboard. Additionally, I also have the Windows Game Power component fully updated from the Windows Store. So without further delay, let's get right into it. Starting with Cyberpunk 2077, here are the results before and after the update at 1080p, 1440p, and 4K. And what an improvement. After the update, we see an average FPS uplift of about 20 FPS at 1080p and 1440p. Meanwhile, at 4K, the gap narrows to around 3 FPS but we still see a decent improvement thanks to this update in this specific title. And we can see also that it has increased the GPU usage, indicating that the CPU is no longer bottlenecking performance as much as before. However, this doesn't mean that all games will see similar gains. For instance, in Horizon Zero Dawn at the same three resolutions, we see an uplift of a maximum of 6 FPS at 1080p and 4 FPS at post 1440p and 4K. While it's still an improvement, it's not as dramatic as in the previous title. But then something very strange happened when I benchmarked Metro Exodus. At 4K, it was stuttering badly both before and after the update. Now I'm not sure why, but at other resolutions like 1440p and 1080p, it was totally fine. And we even see an FPS uplift of about 10 FPS at 1440p. Still, those micro stutters we are getting at 4K are quite weird. I experienced the same behavior in Metro Exodus on my 7950X 3D if you remember that when it was first released the last year with poor optimization as well. With later updates, roughly 6 months after release, it got totally fixed. But seeing the same issue on the 9950X suggests that it still needs more optimization from AMD and Microsoft. If it's going to start out like this, it seems like we are facing a similar story as we did with the 16 core CPU like the 7950X 3D from the last year. I then tried Red Dead Redemption 2. In this title, I didn't notice a very significant difference. Performance gains here called for within margin of error, with about a 2 FPS increase on average at every resolution. But at least this time there are no stutters. Finally, we get to a fresh title like Wukong, and here we also don't see a big difference either. It's performing pretty similar across the board. So that's it, I just wanted to share my benchmarks and discuss them briefly with you guys. And by the way, I'm working on several tuning guides for the 9950X, which I'll be uploading pretty soon. So make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on that. I'll do my best to upload them as soon as possible. As for this small benchmark, I hope it was useful to see the difference. While in some game performance gains aren't that significant, at least there are gains and not losses this time. I think this update is only but an initial optimization for Ryzen's new lineup. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to Tecosor. Thanks for watching that support and see you guys pretty soon. Bye bye.